ammo hard to come by or just too expensive? I hear ya. But that doesn't mean you can't work on your shooting. I'm Julie with Team Trijicon, and I want to share with you how I use dry fire to help me not only maintain my shooting skills, but also improve as well. Dry fire means going through the motion of shooting without any ammunition around you. When I dry fire at home, I make sure I don't have any ammo in the room with me at all. I use smaller scale targets as aiming points as well. For my dry fire sessions, I look at them as a way to drill proper techniques. So for each skill I wanna work on, I start out slow and methodical, making sure I use the exact technique and motions that I know will produce the results I'm looking for at top speeds. Some of the things I work on in dry fire include drawing my pistol from the holster from various start positions, picking up my pistol from a flat surface and presenting to the target, strong hand only draws, draws with a support hand transfer, target to target transitions, reloading magazines quickly and efficiently, shooting on the move and more. Dry fire when you're doing it right is just as challenging as shooting. I'm gripping just as hard as I would if I was training in a live fire session. When I feel good about the technique, I can work on my speed. And an added benefit to all this dry fire, no matter how experienced you are, is the increase in confidence with your gun handling skills. Even just a few minutes a day will help you keep up with your skills and improve your live fire sessions when you get to them as well.